Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with the designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You wanna make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello, hello guys. Hey, Julie. Hi, Christy. Hey, Debbie. Hello again, Vanessa. Hello, hello, and hey, Susie. Susie, I am so excited for your party to start tomorrow. Can I tell you that? I am super excited. Um, so yeah, hello, hello, guys. Tonight, I'm on a mission, actually. <laughs> I'm on a mission. So I wanted to make some functional decor. Um, I have really gotten into the skinny mixes for my coffee. And um, right now my bottles are next to my coffee maker. Um, we have a grinder, we have our coffee maker, and then I have my syrups. And I used to keep them across the way in the pantry, but I am too lazy and too tired in the morning. So I want something cute next to my coffee machine. Um, hi, Lynn, that I can put my coffee syrup on, okay? So I'm gonna use a mix of different transfers and then I wanted to play with did you see this from the vault release? Yes. These are two fun little transfers that you could put on coffee mugs with our Couture ink, or you can um, put them on anything. I miss you, Lynn. Okay, so first, um, I'm gonna show you, um, besides the vault one, I am gonna mix and match some different transfers. One of them is this one here, Good Tidings of Comfort and Joy. You know, I just love that pattern on the back. I absolutely love it. And I think it would go perfect for what I wanna do. And then we have another fun coffee transfer. It says a day without coffee is like, and then at the bottom right, it says, just kidding. I have no idea, right? I have no idea what a day like without coffee at all. Um, first I drink coffee, then I do things. So this one has a lot of different transfers that you can use that are super, super cute. Um, but we're gonna use a few pieces of these to make my little syrup holder, okay? So I'm gonna share my top with you. Now, all I have is this, um, little round board. This was just a regular wood board um, round that you could get from any store and I just stay in the front. See, the bottom is ugly. I don't care about the bottom, but you see this? That's all it is. That's all it is. And um, before we do this, I'm gonna just put on some of this surface wax from Chocotour. Now, um, in case you don't know, we do have this surface wax and you wanna wax any wood surface that you chalk. Um, and any like non chocotour chalkboard that you want to be able to reuse, it's good to wax. Um, what it does is it fills in um, all the little nooks and crannies so your paste doesn't run and it protects your transfer from getting all of those little wood bits on there. So I'm just going to take our um, 
wax and I'm just going to karate kit it on here. No Netflix, bud. Because you're grounded. That's why. No Netflix, babe. You can just turn the TV off. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so I'm just waxing this on here. Like this. I'm gonna get all that excess off the bottom. So I have the wax on. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then we'll take some of it off. Um, so because we just have this little round board, what I thought I would do is add a little feet to it. So these are called candle cups. I found these at um, the craft store. I used my coupon and I thought we could just glue these on to raise it up. I don't know what, do you really put candles in here? I wonder if you put like a taper in there. I don't know, but I'm just gonna grab four or maybe we can do six, let's see. Let's see. And I thought on the back, maybe if we just did like 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock. What do you think of that? I don't know if it matters what side you glue, but it seems like the flat side would be much easier to put the glue on, right? <laughs> I think so. So we'll add those after we're done. I'm just gonna leave them natural because I like them that way. And then now I'm gonna turn this back over. I'm not very fancy. I use paper towels for my wax. I'm just going to wax or buff that wax there. Okay, so now it has a little coating on it so all my paste won't run in there, okay? And then I'm gonna grab the pattern from that um, Comfort and Joy transfer and I'm gonna look to see how sticky it is, okay? Let's see. So it is still pretty sticky, even though we've used it a few times. You don't wanna stick your sticky to the sticky. That's never a good thing. So I'm gonna put my fuzzing cloth down and fuzz it. Remember, you wanna fuzz so that you soften that adhesive a little bit so it's not too sticky. Hey, Chris, it's my brother. I am making a coffee syrup stand. I'm using those skinny syrups <laughs> and I want to make something to hold my syrup in the morning because I'm too lazy to walk to the cabinet. True story, Chris, okay? So we're gonna take this pattern. So I'm supposed to be making my brother stuff for his house, but he hasn't really told me what he likes, so. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on this round board and I'm gonna smooth it out, okay? I'm gonna smooth it out just like this. So now all of my chalk paste is just gonna go right through where you see that wood finish. And it is coffee, right? So I thought we should do a color, I'm thinking like camel or even dune. What do you think? Um, um, both of these I think will match Oh, is Liz watching? Oh gosh, I would have put makeup on. Chris, don't do that to me. Even my shirt says hot mess today. <laughs> oh boy, thanks a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and use this dune. I like this dune a lot. I'm gonna take the dune and I'm going to just stir it up. I think this would look really good in contrast to the um, stained board. And then I'm gonna grab my handy dandy four inch handle squeegee or you could use a multi-tool. You could use just a regular small squeegee. Oh, but this is so easy, right? I'm just gonna use this to spread it on. It's not as big. All right. So you wanna make sure your paste is the consistency of like a sour cream, okay? And then I'm gonna just spread it on, okay? Like I say, if you can butter your bread, you can chalk, right? So I'm gonna grab my small squeegee and look, I'm just gonna go all around the transfer. Easy peasy. And I'm going to just spread this. I'm 
gonna get this in all of those little silk screens. I just love this pattern. It's kind of wintry, but I feel like it's not. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna just spread, spread, just like this. And then all the excess, I'm gonna put it back in the jar. And then we'll get off all the extra, all the extra. Get off all this extra. You want it to be nice and smooth. You don't want it to be super thick on there, right? Because then it will look very lumpy. And the only thing I really like lumpy is like my mashed potatoes, right? So let's go like this. And then get off all of the extra. There we go. I think we're good. It's always a little tricky going around the circle. You wanna make sure you have enough around, but you don't want too much so that it kind of drifts over the side. Okay. I think we're good. I think this dune was a good pick. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our transfer and we're going to take it off. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. All right, let me go put this transfer at the sink. Didn't that turn out great? Oh, it turned out amazing. I'm just getting some of that excess off the side. There we go. Let me try to lift it. Look at that. Amazing. Let me get my little dryer out so I don't mess it up because I might. It was in front of my face. Let's try not to knock it with the cord. I'm just using a dryer to speed it up. It will dry in just a few minutes. Isn't it cute? Now we're just going to help it out a little bit, but I'm gonna put this to the side so we can do other things, all right? So we'll glue the feet on in just a second. We'll put that aside. Now, I like syrup in my coffee. The other thing I like is Splenda. I'm one of those, oh, thanks, Liz. Um, <laughs> she's probably like, what is your wacko sister doing? Um, I like Splenda in my coffee, so I have this little jar to put my little Splenda packets. I can't wait for your party either, Susie. Okay. And this I feel like isn't too sticky. So I'm going to take this and put this right on the glass. Okay. I'm not going to bake this because say next week, I don't want coffee anymore. You know, sometimes that happens. I've gone into the syrup kick before when I got my first coffee ninja and I would make my lattes and then, um, realized I was fat. Right. So then I stopped doing that. So who knows, maybe I will only be on this coffee syrup kick for a little bit and then I'll go back to my coffee mate. <laughs> yeah, maybe who knows. So I'm going to just spread this on here and then this one, I'm thinking we will just do like a brown to match. So we have our bark. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> Hello. And then I'm going to take some of this. This one is really liquidy. We'll have to see if this, if this, this might need to sit with the top off for a little bit because it almost is like too watery. Let's just put it on and see what we get. That's the fun thing about chalk. If you mess up, hey Patty, if you mess up, you just redo it. It's no big deal, right? And then um, I'm gonna just go like this. Now, because 
I am not baking this or doing the glass and ink. It can be scratched, so I'll be very careful. But who knows, maybe I wanna put a different picture on there. Hmm? Maybe I wanna put like something for each season or any reason. Who knows, you never know what I'm gonna do. I'm a little unpredictable sometimes. All right, so now we have this, like this, this, and like this. And then we're going to peel it off. And look at that. Can you guys even see that? Hold on, maybe if I put this whiteness behind it. You see that? We have a perfect little heart coffee mug. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna dry this as well because I'm sure I'll put my finger in this. So another fun thing that would have been done to do with this is that you can etch, you can etch through glass. I didn't think about that before this video. I should have thought about that. Okay, so now we have both of those done. Oh, I took away my bucket. Then I wanna move to the vault one, this here. So this is just a cute little, I forget where I got this from. I think I got it when I ordered something from one of um, the sellers that does um, box frames. Um, but isn't this cute? It's double-sided and lo and behold, I feel like it's gonna fit one of these perfectly just to finish off my little coffee bar. Let me see. You know, I never even really liked the flavor of coffee. I like the effects and sometimes at work, I will go for that second cup. I don't know if it is advised, but I'll do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut on the cut line. These are beautiful on mugs. You know, you can use the couture ink, you can put these on mugs, you can bake them in your oven to make them permanent forever and ever. Um, so I'm gonna write on the back so I know which backer goes with which. We'll do coffee and sunshine. You didn't know I was an artist, right? Coffee and sunshine. And then, um, but first. This is just so I know which goes to which if I have them both out. And also, this is super smooth. I don't think I need to wax this. I think this has already been treated. Um, when you open your transfer, the one side is super, super glossy. You always wanna make sure you put the sticky to the glossy, okay? And this is super sticky, so I'm gonna bring out my fuzzing cloth. I think this is gonna have a fuzz factor of like four. Remember, each transfer, as it comes to you, may have a different level of stickiness. You could use your pant leg, you can use a clean towel, or if you um, want, you could use this fuzzing cloth. Now, we're just softening the adhesive. We don't want to stretch our transfer. That would be a no-no. And we don't wanna ruin our surface. There we go. I'm gonna be so happy drinking my coffee tomorrow. All right, so now I'm gonna see if I can fit this with this in like this. Let's see, just like this. And I'm gonna go down, make sure I don't have any air bubbles. And it seems like it fits really nice. I'm really just trying to decide if I'm gonna do the whole thing in one color or maybe add something. Um, I think I'm gonna do it all in Dune. Do you think Dune will show up? I kinda wanna do it in Dune. Let's try it. If we don't like it, we can do the other side. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just put some Dune on here. We'll see how it goes. We'll take a squeegee. My husband is home now. I hope he's up there saying, wow, this house smells amazing because I have dinner in the oven and I hope he has a bottle of wine. Yes, okay. So let's see. I think this is gonna look great. Okay, so we have chalked that on here. I'm just gonna take my transfer and we are going to 
peel it off. It's really sticky. This was the perfect color. And I'm gonna put this right back on my little backer sheet and then I will wash it as soon as we're done, just with some water. Yes, Christy, I could probably use Dune for like everything, right? Okay, ta-da! But for, isn't that cute? Ugh. I'm not, hold on, I'm not a bow person, but I'm thinking, hold on, let me see here. Give me a second, give me a second. I wonder if we could use like this burlap ribbon. I don't wanna do a bow, but what if we just did this and glued it on does that look good with that design or no? Give me a yes or no if you think I should glue this little ribbon just to give it a little more dimension. Just say yes or no. Yes or no, and we'll move on. Okay. Check to see if the chicken's done. I'm almost done. We have a banging dinner tonight. Okay, so this is dry. I'm gonna turn this over and grab these. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna glue this side since it seems easier. And easier is always the way to go, right? Let me get my glue gun. Again, I did not break out my finger savers. So let's see how many times I can burn myself. We'll put some glue and do it here. Put some glue and do it here. I think four is good enough. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth is actually on on. <laughs> oh, everyone's saying yes. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. If you insist. <laughs> if you insist. All right, so we have this one. And we have this one. What do you think? I guess it doesn't really matter. There we go. So we'll let that dry over here. And just in case you're wondering, on the top, I will use a sealant spray because I am a slob. I'll probably use this Krylon matte sealer to do the top so that if I accidentally squirt syrup, it happens, then I can wipe it off without worrying about my design getting all messed up. So let's just take this. You know what, should we put the other one on the other side? Then we have like a double-sided. Yeah, let's do that. Why didn't I think of that? Let's grab coffee and sunshine. And we'll fuzz that. We might as well use both, right? And again, this transfer was not expected to still be around, but it is still in the chalk shop. They really predicted that it would have been gone, gone. All right, so let's just do this side. Now this one is a little lighter, so maybe we'll use the bark on this side. And if we don't like it, that's fine. I like the other saying better. <laughs> let's put some on there. And then let's just smooth this across. Does anybody else have a coffee bar? Do you guys drink coffees? I don't know. I can tell you I kind of have a um, snobby husband. He has to have fresh ground every morning and usually the coffee is from another country. I don't even get it, but I don't care as long as I can put my little frilly syrups in, I don't care. I even found an almond milk whipped cream at Wegmans today that got delivered. So I can have some whipped cream in my creations that is almond milk. There we go. And I think the Skinny Syrups also makes a cream. Let's see. Mm, oh yeah, this is really sticky. I probably should have fuzzed it two more times. Um, there we go. This would also be really cute on like a shirt pocket, right? Let's see. All right. 
so we have coffee and sunshine and we have but first coffee so since I did it double-sided I'm gonna have to be a little neater in my glue job let's see mm, okay so let's get our little ribbon oh maybe not maybe we'll just since I like this side better I'll treat it better that's why I only have one kid you know you can't have more than one because you like one better, I think, right? I mean, if they ran into traffic, you'd have to pick your favorite one, I think. But I don't know. I don't know how that goes. I only have one. Let's see. We'll go like this. Let's just measure out all the way across to there. Yes and yes, my oldest son is much like you just described. <laughs> we have at least three different pots we used to make coffee. See? Yeah, Christy. And then we will just, well, let's glue it around. That way I know if I'm on the money or not. And then I'm just gonna give a little line of glue. Maybe my New Year's resolution would be to use my use my finger protectors. We'll see. Um, did I have a New Year's resolution for 2020? I don't know. I know for 19, it was to not use credit cards. And we've done that. We haven't used a credit card since 2018, which is pretty amazing for us. Um, <laughs> we're still paying them off but um we have not used any credit cards since 2018 and we made it through all of 19 and now we're going through 20. that's pretty exciting so let's just go all the way here i probably should have done a better transition ouch and we'll just put this like this ouch 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 and then stop right there. How cute is that? So we just have this little thing. So let's see what we have going on here. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the lid on this bad guy here, Dune, because we definitely wanna keep that. So here's what we have, and I will take a picture when I go upstairs um, of what it's gonna look like, because it's probably hard to picture here but we have this on a stand isn't that cute isn't that cute and um i'm going to seal it with this chalky sealer and on the stand is going to be my little pump syrups right and then i'll have my little splenda and then i'll have my little encouraged thing on here how cute is this right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go upstairs so I can eat my dinner and I'm going to take a picture for you guys and then you guys can ooh and ah, okay? So if you are watching from the holiday shop, um, thank you. And this wraps up pretty much my presentation. Everybody else, I will see you again. I got to add more glue, I think. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, Liz. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.